What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, and right off the bat, we got an emergency. There is a shutoff valve on the fourth floor underneath the sink. It's a compression fitting valve uh, that is pissing out water. Not a lot. So Joe's up there right now. I just came to get the tools. Um, but it was, you could tell this, it's not, a, it's not spraying water or anything like that, but it is, le it's, it's leaking pretty bad. So we're going to try to tighten the nut. That doesn't work. Then we might need to replace the whole shutoff valve. It's Wednesday. Let's go. <music> What do we got, Joe? Oh, we got maybe a nightmare. I think we do have a nightmare. Shut Check it out, guys. As you can see. Shutting the water off to the front building sucks. That's the shut off valve. See how it's leaking? So Joe is going to try oh, no. to tie the nut and see if it stops. If not, was it loose? There's a little trick. Usually what? Let's move it around. Yeah. Loosen her up and then tighten it. Right, let's see. Clear the drip. I'll see. Oh, look at that. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Uh, but I'm thinking about change, it. Why don't you guys just change it? Well, it's not that easy. We have to shut the water off the front building. The whole front building got to shut off because these type, this side of the building doesn't have individual shut off valves. And the biggest problem with it is that what I see with this is, God forbid, it starts, you know, where you have a problem and you got to shut the water off. If we take the thing away, you ain't going to be able to shut the water off. Exactly. <laughs> well, it was kind of, was it loose, Joe? I don't know. I didn't see you. A little bit, not much, but... We're gonna wait a while and see if uh, it leaks again. It's not leaking no more like it was. But like I said, we're gonna wait a little while. Before we say she's good. Before we say she's good. I think it was loose. Oh, definitely was. Because when you turn it to turn it off, it was spraying water like crazy. Oh boy, we got lucky, huh, Joe? Mm -hmm. Like I said in the last clip, to replace a valve here in the hotel is not easy because you got to shut off the whole building. So now we're going to go to what number, Joe? 308. What's going on there? Uh, tub drain and toilet. Tub drain and toilet. The toilet has water around it. Hmm. Let's go see what's going on. All right, guys. Joe had to run to another, another call, but I'm here in the room. This room had uh, two issues. Uh, the drain here for the bathtub was supposed to, it was supposedly draining slow, but it's not. And they said that the, the toilet was leaking. I already flushed it like 10 times. It's not the wax ring, it's nothing else. All the bolts are nice and tight. I don't know. I don't see no problem. Let's move on. We're gonna go to a no hot water call now. And then we have another one with the toilet is making a loud noise. So let's check it out. Maintenance. I don't know what's going on today. We got a lot of false calls. You know what's the problem? I'm gonna tell you exactly what the problem is. Oh, by the way, there's plenty of hot water in this in this bathroom. Um, we have a, a group of of students, high school students. So. Some of them don't know how to work the appliances right. Like for instance, this shower right there. That could be tricky for some people, especially kids, I don't know. But we got a lot of hot water here. Not only we have a lot of hot water, but we got three brand new water heaters. So there should be plenty of hot water. And there is. I tried it in the sink here. Plenty of, plenty of hot water. What are you gonna do? All right, let's go. We're gonna go now and take a look at a toilet that's making a loud noise. Let's see if the toilet's making loud noise here. Let's flush her. Let's 
So far everything's normal. Let's open up the lid and see what we got. I don't know what's going on today, but I've been sitting here like almost five minutes and the, and the toilet is not running or anything like that. We got another false call. It's unbelievable. Teenagers will be teenagers. A lot of false calls. They were giving the, the housekeepers a pain. They're pain in the butts. You know what I mean? They were giving them a hard time about changing out the pillows, doing this, doing that. Typical teenager stuff. I mean, they have chaperones and all that. But I guess the chaperones can only do so much, man. What are you going to do? Whew. All right. Let's see what else the day brings. All right, guys. So for our final project here, four boxes of flooring came so we could restore those rooms back. And we got to move it from entrance C all the way across the hallway. And you know those things are heavy. Let's get to it. Say hello. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> what do we got, Jojo? Holy shit. Shit on the fucking floor. Look at house. this, man. Well, do you have your muscles on today? Every Let's, day. Let's do it. Here we go. to get one pallet one down two to go now if you guys know anything about these type of flooring boxes only one of them one of them weighs a ton so we got joe loading up the other cart right now i'll, get, I'll go give him this empty one and this is how we're doing we're doing a train effect right now assembly line we're doing an assembly line right now so we got one pallet down. Let's keep going. Are you are hey, you getting me ever late? You know in the in the resume, right? Mm -hmm. When you start your job, what, it says you're say anything like this. No, it says you're required to lift twenty five to forty eight pounds. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Each tile is about twenty eight to forty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost there, guys. Joe just loaded up this cart, and this is what we got left. We got about two more trips, but this is all the damage. Four pallets, man. Let's keep going. Let me tell you guys, I'm a little frustrated right now. I'm not gonna lie. You can see we're almost done, but frustrated because we have housemen here, right? And um, they see Joe and I struggling with this stuff. Instead of saying, you need a hand, you need a hand. They're going back and forth laughing and um you know and pushing their little carts around with little blankets in here but listen man if you got nothing nice to say if you want to just your goal is to make fun of people because they're doing their job just be quiet just stay quiet you know what i mean we don't need uh your your input on this we're doing our job go do yours and not only that but they're nosy listen I understand women like soap operas and that's part of being nosy. I understand all that. And nothing against, you know, I'm not trying to diss anybody. But when men do it, come on, bro. Come on. Stop being nosy and do your job. That's it. That's all you got to do. Anyway, let me keep going. You Good job, him, Joe. Did you send him a picture of it when it was outside? No. Did you get a picture or you just videoed it? all right guys so we finished as you can see it was not an easy job but real man working here right joe oh hell yeah this was real man's work listen on the last clip how much do you think they weigh a piece these, these boxes i think they were like 30 pounds 20 something to 30. i'm gonna say between 25 oh. to 30 pounds each wow carton weight 42.32 ounces each. I mean pounds rather. Each. Each. Each one. Look at that, guys. 
42 pounds. 42 pounds each. Each. And here's the houseman walking back and forth. There's at least 100 of them. The, the, the houseman walking back and forth laughing at us. Instead of saying, yeah. do you need a hand? And he's a young, he's a young old punks too. I mean, I he's know. not old man. Listen, he's not any older than me. I'm 61. They should be out there doing this with the plane. 61, 43, and they're like 20 something years old. Come on, man. And all they do is complain. Oh, Wash. I hurt my shoulder. I hurt my eye. Doing what? Vacuuming? Come I'm on, bro. I sent it to the right person. <laughs> what? What was, it couldn't get it. It's going to be like, what the fuck is this? Anyway, they're in here. So, guys, that will be it for the, the video. We got our asses kicked, but we're good. All right, Joe. Say peace. Uh, peace of what? <laughs> peace of love. Peace of love. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace of love and peace of love. I can't say that. Don't forget to uh, <laughs> share the video, of course. Tell a friend to tell a friend about the Zoom of Lives. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. 42 pounds each. We did it. Mm -hmm.